When you hear the term overland camping, vehicles like a Toyota, a Jeep, or perhaps even a Ford may come to mind. What you definitely don't think of, however, are these. Our journey takes place in the rugged wilderness of northern Vancouver Island, and our mission is to make it to San Joseph Bay, the beautiful sandy beach at the island's end, hidden by the harsh and unforgiving Pacific coastline. We begin in the town of Sayward, and along the way we explore remote communities, complete challenges given by our producer, and carve our way through rough northern backroads, all to prove that you don't need to spend thousands on a fancy 4x4 rig to do some proper overland camping. That's the plan, anyways. It's fucking cold, and it's wet, and it's January. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I'd like to introduce you to the catfish. She looked like a 10 in her profile, showed up as a two. Consider yourselves catfish. <laughs> Dude, what? <laughs> Where did that come from? <laughs> if you don't own one yourself, you have. And if you haven't, you do know someone that does. This is a Chevy Cavalier, 27 uh, inch wheels here, ABS bush bar. We've got this fabulous light bar here. Ready for action. Ready for action, Jackson. Don't leave that on, it'll drain the battery faster than these nuts. And over here. This is Betsy, our Pontiac Wave. She's had her ups and downs. Come on! These uh, wheels on her, again, 28 inch tires, couldn't pull a greasy string out of a dog's ass now. This thing ain't got the gearing for it. So this is just a hypothetical. These wheels could have an illegal amount of spaces on them. Wiper fluid, which you probably won't need because it's piss and rain. This is our air intake. That's probably also gonna get ripped off and become a water intake. We've got these fabulous Thule Kapui rooftop tents mounted on DIY roof racks, ready rod through the ceiling. And if you take a look over here, you can see there is a little bit of rubbing going on. And you think he has a little bit of rubbish? Come over here. We've cut ourselves an extra tread. For that water dispersion. Exactly. You've pulled up this handle and you're like, oh, time to get in the driver's seat. You're gonna get catfished. You gotta like reach around. Oh, there's the police. Oh, dude, there's a the police. Uh-oh. There was indeed a police officer waiting for us at the end of the dock. But luckily we were able to sneak by him in our super legal custom overland rigs. We parked and waited, and since he was the only police officer in 50 square kilometers, he left the dock in search of more policing to do. So we decided to make our escape and set off on our ambitious journey. We headed for the town of Was, where the producer would give us our first challenge. But Josh was curious about the off-road capabilities of our new machines and noticed the perfect opportunity to put them to the test. How did you even get up there? Are you sure we can crest that though? There is no fucking way. Did we give it a running start? Or, uh, go a little bit further, get, get some speed. Yeah! The catfish rules! Holy sh! he made it! The mother made it! Catfish rules, dude! Yo, catfish is right. Slays. We have to try. You, we have to, yes. What? <laughs> Dude, Slimer did it too. No <laughs> way. I love Slimer. He's so cool. He comes over hanging with my mom a lot. <laughs> Pretty soon, we'd be driving down logging roads. So we decided on our radio call signs. Rubber duck, this is blue balls. Come in over. They're blue balls or rubber duck? I guess so. All right. 
bright blue balls is a rubber duck. Go ahead there. Okay, we got you there, 10-4. Copy, big 2-5-6-9-er. Copy, that's a 6 9 four twenty. I'm going to put a big old J-Bay on the ray. This is J-Bay on the ray. Just want to make sure you boys uh, refer to us as the catfish from now on. So when you want to hail us on the radio, just say, uh, come in, catfish, come in. Are the catfishers in there? A noodle is home. Roger that, catfish. We got you loud and clear. Reading you five by five. Thanks, Slimer. <laughs> Please refer to us nothing other than blue balls. Say again, Slimer. Over. Refer to us nothing other than blue balls. Please and thank you. Copy that, Slimer. Read loud and clear. <laughs> the weather got much worse as we gained altitude, which meant Matthew began making a series of very astute observations. That's some snow. Are you sleeping in the snow tonight? We're seeing some snow. It's like full on snowing. Wow, it's really snowing. There we go, we're sticking. I was gonna say this is the snow line here, I think. We were hoping to avoid the snow altogether, but unfortunately, it was January. Luckily though, the snow faded as we descended into the town of Wasp. It was here that the producer would give us our first challenge at the world famous Wasp service station. For our first challenge, we are going to a community called Zabalis. We need to catch a fish. <laughs> so, we actually have to catch a fish. Yeah, we have to catch a fish. Wow. So, you know. I've never caught a fish in my entire life. Maybe there's some I fish literally don't know how to catch a fish. Catch. <laughs> yeah. What if we buy a fish on the way? I don't think there's any store I that think, sells fish. I think we can catch a fish. I think it can be done. As long as Matthew doesn't go anywhere near the water stream. <laughs> Sorry, yeah, I have horrible luck. That's never caught a fish. I actually did catch a fish with you that one time. We did get one. And it was about like seven or eight inches. <laughs> now getting to Zabalis meant leaving the highway and hitting the dirt. Revs up good, come in here. Yeah, no one's no one's coming. <laughs> that was really scary. <laughs> Holy sh dude, I thought I thought we were gonna die. <laughs> Sorry for the spook. Welcome to Zabalis. Oh, yeah. Golden Gate to the west coast. Must be getting close then. <laughs> oh wow, this town looks fucking crazy. It's like the Shire. What do you think, Dad? Uh, I think that sounds great, son. Yeah, thanks, Dad. I've never fished a day in my life, but seeing you fish for catfish like my grandfather before me brings pride to my family. I really want to make Grandpappy proud, Dad. I really do. Hope I he can... would be. He Oops. would be. <laughs> Not of that cast, though. Holy shit, he's rolling in his grave right now. Right. A. I'm sorry, Grandpappy. No, this one you don't cast. You just drop it like this. Puddle on the side of the road. So you go to the bottom, you give it a few cranks, you go like this. Yeah, 
You officially, oh, there we go. Yep, yep, yep. Nice. Maybe, right around the bottom. Oh, there's fish on there. Oh, we got one. I don't know if it counts. Let's let it go on record. We did catch a, a sea star. Uh, I don't recall what type this is, but uh, it counts for something. Definitely. How did you catch a starfish? It uh, takes years of training and practice. I <laughs> uh, use a treble hook, giving us the best possibility of catching a fish because there's three hooks on it. This will do just fine. Fish will literally bite anything, like it's been proven. There's YouTube videos where fish bite like a two by four. Not even kidding. Drop it in, straight down, bring it up, let it down. And that motion really likes to attract rockfish. So, got a little bit of something here. Some eelgrass. The fish at the dock were playing hard to get. So Drew suggested we try a nearby river. And thankfully, the producers packed us a pair of hip waders, which she was eager to try. There we go, we're all wadered up. I'll be a waiter for tonight. So we'll be waiting patiently. I'll be waiting patiently. Let's find out how they work. Come on. Come on. I don't know what I'm going to do if I see a fish. I have no way of catching it. I did not think that through. I need a rod. I don't know what I'm going to do if I see a fish. I'm going to dive in after it. <laughs> yeah, and then fill your shit with water so you can't come back up. Yeah. <laughs> Even with the fishing rod, all Drew was able to catch was the bottom of the river. Josh came to help out and noticed a couple of local kids across the parking lot. Is there anywhere we can catch fish around here? Pardon me? The red bridge. Oh, that's a really good idea. Okay, thank you. What did they say? The red bridge. Yeah, there's this big red bridge on the way into town. Should we do spin casting by the red bridge or jigging, do you think? These ones work really good. These ones do? Yeah. Here. Hey, thanks a lot for your help. So we'll go over to the to the red bridge. And do you go right off the middle of the bridge? On that side of the bridge, there's a way that you can get down. Okay, thank you very much. Yeah. Well, all right. We, you know, we know what lure to use. We know where to go. Following the locals' advice, we arrived at the Red Bridge and descended the path on the far side. We were about to make our way down to the river when Josh stopped for a snack. No way. Give me one. Yeah, Go. Pretty good. That's Trout part. and bait. Josh! Not for human consumption. Oh, we'll have another. What? We'll have another. You're gonna be so sick. That can't be good for you. They even have a bit of sugariness to them. Dude, I'm fucking gonna vomit. I gotta walk away. <laughs> Don't even say the word. <laughs> Josh is Scooby Snacks. I might get hungry down there. So. I see two things. Big rocks. Yep. And a bridge. And I see a bridge. Oh, you're so right. I'm gonna leave Josh a snack. Well, I just think it's funny, Logan. Like, you always make... You guys scared the shit out of me. All Josh caught at the spot was the red bridge. He almost caught Drew as well, but he was too quick. So far we had caught a sea star, eel grass, the bottom of the river, and a bridge, but no fish. We gave up on fishing as it was getting late, so we rejoined for our next challenge. Oh, okay. I have a lot of messages from the producer. Uh -oh. Your next challenge is to make it to San Yosef Bay before nightfall tomorrow. Uh, where you will build a fire on the beach and cook a fish. Which means you still need to catch a fish. Oh, sh**. Yo! <laughs> There's more. Wait. One tiny catch. From now on, you are no longer allowed to drive along any highways. And one last thing. We have to be in Port Alice by 10 a.m. sharp tomorrow. Hey, Matt, you're gonna have to hold in that sh**. Cause we gotta go. We gotta f yeah. go. I don't even know where to, like, do we have naps? Oh. No way. I actually can't. Back roads map book. I guess Funny we'll seeing you here. 
we could see you here again with just one quick sponsorship and a few easy payments to that thing we did. Please, 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 please. 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 You would be so cool. It's really big. Oh God, okay, okay. We're actually right here. Oh, flip it around, <laughs> everyone, everyone turn. How could we possibly get from okay, here? Yeah, let's figure that out. No, here. hold on, where are we? We're here. Oh, and we ought to be there tomorrow morning? God. Yeah. We ought to get there before we go to bed, because you know, we're night people, right? Like, we're not getting up before 10. Yeah. So we're spending there. all night. So true. Like, we gotta, we're sleeping in Port Alice. We gotta get yeah. to Port Alice tomorrow yeah. morning. Yeah. Right and then there. we keep going tomorrow day. Objective one, <laughs> let's get to Port Alice. Yeah, tonight. So oh, actually, this is using no highways. No highways. So we head out. Oh, I'm to glad you're so confident about it. I'm a little concerned. Past Wolf Lake here, and then we take this main line that goes all the way out here. Or actually, we could pop in down at that uh, the waterfall down here somewhere if we came up. Matt is so confident. It's not just we're gonna just, do the challenge, but we're also taking this pop in in a waterfall. Yeah, the scenic route too. Honestly, Yo. we're not gonna have flush toilets till like tomorrow morning. Oh no, we got lots of sh tickets and we got lots of forest and shovels. Wait, do we have lots of? Tickets? We're driving yeah. back to the thing. I used a whole road. It's roll. right down the road. I will be no more than 15 minutes. Matthew. Let's go! Unsurprisingly, by the time the shit left Matt's ass, it was dark out. Nevertheless, we got dirty and rejoined the extensive network of logging roads with our course set for Port Alice. We gotta be in Port Alice for 10 tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Or else. Or else. We gotta catch a fish tomorrow morning. Oh, and then we gotta go to San Josef Bay. I'm just hoping it stays dry and remains not covered in snow. Because I don't suspect that the getting there is actually going to be too challenging. I really don't. This is going to be a long night, eh? Yeah. I don't think it's too far. We're only about two hours away. In this case? How about that, yeah? Dude. That was an ass shaker. That was the ass shaker. How long have I been asleep? 45 minutes to an hour. Have you seen Vanishing River? I haven't seen it. Have you seen Atlick Lake? Uh, actually, I saw a big sign that said Atlick Lake like 35 minutes ago. That was our turn off. Okay, let's pull over. We are, s this We're is lost. bad. We are turbo lost. How lost is Turbo Lost? We're like 35 minutes down past our turn on the wrong road, and I'm not sure which road that is. I fucking knew it. I knew it, dude. That's done navigating. Dude, you're the navigator. I was having a nap. I realize that. Not your fucking idiot. You know that? You lost your fucking nap. Back to sleep. Back to sleep. Yeah, that's at Luck Lake. Okay. So we would pass through there. Well, that's not very good, is it? Where oh my we, god, that's too much. Where do, we, where do we take that right turn? As it turned out, Duncan was no better at the job than Matthew. This is a pretty narrow road for a main line, eh? This is a crazy road for a main line. What's, what's, what's up? What's up, Daniels? No. How washed out? My dad. Come over here, take a look. Oh no, no, no. Our progress is so good. No, 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 no. May take a look. Oh no. Oh, that's fucking bad. There's a fucking crater in the road. This is a huge problem. I don't think it's an impasse though. Mm. Mm. 
Uh, Yo, Bombad Engineers. Bombad Ready for Engineers. Deploy. What are we doing? What are, what are the Bombad Bombad Engineers are rebuilding the road. <laughs> <laughs> we are rebuilding the road. Bombad out Russia. Bombad Engineers, ready for deployment. Do we want to knock it down? I think we're, we'll make it. I think we we're ready. I think we're ready. The catfish was up first, and Duncan volunteered to make the attempt. I want plenty of spotters down there. Oh, it's actually tense. It's a little bit of a sketchy situation here with the sinkhole and everything. How are you feeling about this? I'm the dude. I'm gonna be honest. There's a lot of anxiety right now. Can't up. Yeah, I just can't up. We good? Good. Uh, get your arm and head out of your window. I can't really see your tires though for the okay, light I'll, bar. I'll, I'll go ahead and hear that. Hey Josh, can I see that light for a sec? Hey. Can we get like everybody fing in position so I can hit this once and not stop in the washout, please? Keep it up on less than a foot. Okay. Yeah. Hey, just a letter in the left. And straighten up, straighten up. There we go. Alright, alright, right, number two, let's go. Yeah, that's right, baby! The fing catfish rules! Oh, it's stressful. <laughs> <laughs> now it was my turn. Not only was the Slimer wider, thanks to three inches of wheel spacers, but it had another issue. We got no window. <laughs> <laughs> uh, get her closer on this side here. You got some space. And uh, just keep her straight. Uh, yeah. Straight up. Nice. You good, though? Yeah, I almost fucking slipped down the bank. <laughs> Easy drive. All right. <laughs> that was good. Big success. Great success. Very nice. We are number one. Have you done a lot of that four by stuff? Uh, no. <laughs> nice job. Thankfully, I was about to get a whole lot more practice. What's that sign say? Nothing points this way. Shit, man, I would say we go right. So far to go. We're out in the f***ing boonies, dude. Oh, we should have stopped. What is going on? Are you guys stuck? Yep, 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 yep. No? Okay. Ah, oh, I can't f***ing get it. Catfish. Come on, catfish. Come on, catfish. Let's f***ing ah! be a catfish! Yeah! Yeah! Looks like we're on a J main. And if that isn't the right way, we'll come back this way. Yeah, I'm just gonna gouge it. It's starting to really snow. Yeah, snow, it's actually, oh, yeah. Whoa, that, that happened. Yeah. Look at this. I'm stressing now. Uh, we're gonna take a left. Shake right here. Mm. Take the angle, take the angle. Nice. Boonies, my friend. This is the wrong way. This is stressful. I don't think it's too far. We're only about two hours away. We might have the same amount of time that we went from here, plus another 20, 30 minutes. I would say an hour and a half most. Oh, oh actually, this is using your highways. We could pop in down at that uh, the waterfall down here somewhere. Matt is so confident. It's not just we're gonna just, do the challenge, but we're also just pop in at a waterfall. Yeah, the scenic route too. Honestly. Yo. I'm thinking we turn it around because this doesn't look like a main line. This is the Austin Powers U turn. This is stressful, man. By the time you get there, it'll be straight. Back up. This again. All right. Let's just go a little easy here. Oh, oh no, 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 no. Yeah, 
That's okay, we can, oh, we can rock it, we can rock it. Just plastic, it's just plastic, remember. There you go, that's a f***ing That's a ticket. We made our way back through the wonderful world of washouts and managed to rejoin with the main line. Oh, hold on, flash your high beams, we want to go this way. This feels uh, more like a main. Yeah, brother, it sure and that's, is. Oh, J main, J main, it said 43 right there. This is J's main. We are good to go on J main right now, heading down, we're rocking. Getting out again. What are y'all stopping for? We're on J Main, nice. This is where we want to be. Hell yeah, chainsaw! We got a chainsaw? F yeah. Let me get out of here. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta see the commotion's all about. Is there like a longer cut through or something? No. You know what time it is? No, are you serious? <laughs> this is a big one, too. This is I a heavy duty. Big stuff. This is your little one. I think we might. We got a chance. We got one chance. Like we cut through here, one side of the bar, see what, see other side of the bar. Right. If it doesn't make it through, yeah, um, we can hook up a toaster out and pull the whole log where it's cut. So we'll cut here. I'll get the chainsaw going. Yeah. yeah. I do have chops. Yeah, I, I, I love. I love hell yeah. Matthew in chainsaw mode, dude. Yeah. Chainsaw He's God damn. damn. Yeah. Kicked into another oh, gear I now. Literally yeah, just like, you can tell Matthew's been waiting this whole trip to just can whip the chainsaw and <laughs> fucking chop that long hey, enough. We got chops, we got ear protection, we got gloves which we both need, lit, bitch. We're definitely gonna get a comment that says toxic masculinity. Yeah. <laughs> I'm calling it now. You know what? Toxic ma masculinity is necessary in first world society. If you put a first per a first world person in a third world country, they fucking die in three days. Although then again, I'm wearing chainsaw no, chops, so what do I have to say? And they're bright orange and they accent your crotch. Well, it's because I ain't got no fuel. Oh, <laughs> that could be a fact. I know what's wrong with it. I ain't got, got no gas, gas in it. <laughs> you know what I pack in my chainsaw bag? Gas. gas. <laughs> she got gas in her now, she'll run. In text? I do actually agree with you on that one. Let's try a push. Oh, yeah. One more. Three, two, one. Yeah. 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 Again. Yeah. 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 Let me yeah. hear you. Yeah. 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 Dang, guys. How are we up there? Fucking got him. Just move that out of the way. Good idea on the chainsaw, man. Dude, I no, literally not. never leave the house without one. That's one of the things I keep yeah. in my car at all times. Most young men usually never leave the house without condoms. But Matthew, on the other hand, he makes sure he's got his bases covered. Having conquered Mother Nature for the time being, and after only a few more U-turns, including in someone's driveway, we had arrived in Port Alice. We found a spot to set up camp and got some well-deserved rest. Duncan, why does it sound like there's air leaking? Uh oh. Was there like, let's take a look at this sucker. I found it. Luckily, it's a nice, easy spot to fix. I've bought, I've got plugs, so. <laughs> what kind of plugs? Tire plugs. Okay. We are awake. Lively, living off of five hours of sleep right now. I function best. Anyways, that right there is a flat tire. Everybody say good morning to Drew. Shut the fuck up. Oh, that's the camera. Hello, camera. Hey, what's going on? Just imagine a couple of cool cats doing the catfish cuddle. Because that's what's going on. So we're about to do something that's going to make Drew really, really happy. This 
will go. In due time, Drew departed from the tent. Good morning. Matthew keeps me up till 3 a.m. with his constant sawing logs. And then I wake up to a nice drill two inches from my face, man. Uh, I'm in pain, dude. I'm in pain. Drill! Man. I go, hey, why are we up at 8 a.m. when we're up till 3? And he goes, we have to be somewhere at 10. I go, where, where do we have to be? Port Alice. Where are we? Port Alice. <laughs> God damn, man. We'll pack up the tent. At least we'll be punctual, though. Matt finished up fixing the tire, and we congregated on the side of the road, eager to find out just why it was so important we made it here on time. I think we're going to go to some sort of yoga thing or some sort of like spiritual thing, some sort of woods, sort of, you know, go out into the woods or, or do it in someone's place, you know, like a... Like a cranial that face sacral. Says we're on to something. Like a cranial sacral therapy or something. Josh might actually uh, be really good at this. And you know what it says? What's it say? I think I see a reading in your future. Oh, maybe they're a fortune teller or a tea leaf. <laughs> oh, Dude, are we no gonna go do way. like a palm, we palm reading? reading? Or something? Yeah. Gonna go like yeah, I don't want my future. Oh, <laughs> 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 let's go. Like there is let's doom go. and darkness. You, that. I'm oh, you actually called that. Josh might be psychic. What the? F okay. I just, I, you know, I what does my palm say? Yeah, it up. says that you need to be more yeah, careful next time go. you go hiking. Let's just get Josh to go. Yeah, and you, sir, uh, gotta stop beating with your left. Oh. <laughs> He's and, right. And you, sir, gotta be more careful around uh, hot things. Apparently. <laughs> yeah, he's really good. We left the campground to be half an hour early to our psychic's appointment that we definitely would not have made with 10 extra minutes of sleep. What sure. if we find out some like stuff that we shouldn't? Dude, if I get bad news, I'm gonna be a little bit irked about that. Like, I'm not sure what to think. Oh, I'll go through. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> Drew, 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 Drew. Nice to meet you. Hi there, Bill. I'm Josh. Josh, my name. Great to meet you, Bill. Have you? Yeah. Thanks for having this over. No problem. Okay. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. You already predicted something. Oh, okay. Dang. Like with you, I do see three main concerns. Are you single? Uh, I have a girlfriend, yeah. Okay, so I'm not single. No. Um, with you, Matt, and um, the first thing I'm being shown is help. Family. Has there been like, um, like a communication problem there? Am I gonna make the mistake of buying another car in the next year? Holy shit. I see a big move. Like I'm talking businessman. Really? Like Hawaii or something? <laughs> I'm on Hawaii, it's gonna be in Canada. First issue I've already picked up off for you is that you have a relationship issue going on right now. Oh <laughs> jeez, okay. <laughs> I feel that off your energy. Okay. It's like there's been a lot of communication issues with it. Yeah. Okay, does that make sense? Yeah. It's been like on a breakdown. For sure. That makes sense. That's accurate. Is it? Yeah. You're gonna have two girls. Have two girls. Play up. I think he means like kids. This is your right arm. This is No way! Yeah. Really? I see your red pump when I was ready I'm actually kind of stoked about that. I yeah, see two lines in there. Not two kids. You have one marriage, and you're gonna get married up in your late 70s or 80s. Nice. Okay. It's the Goldilocks zone. We don't want to go any further than that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna pull three. Okay. And let's see, let's see which of these cards show. Can I pick a card at random? Um, afterwards. You should learn the rainbow shuffle. Yeah, it's almost like it's time to express yourself more. Like when I see the tower card, people say, oh my god, my whole life's gonna go upside down. Are you single right now? I am, yes. Female coming to yours. Looks gonna really help my financial situation. <laughs> <laughs> and the underworld, you've been looking online, looking online quite a bit. The underworld? What? Underworld. Hold on a minute, yeah, go back to that. Underworld. 
That's probably so. What does that mean? That's, you, you've been doing a lot of in-depth research. That sounds bad, right? No, 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 no. At the end of the day, life's gonna be a good adventure for you. I love that. I love that. Thank you very much. I'm done. Yeah, be great. Yeah. I thought that was really cool. Thank you. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
fucking fighting it together. Oh. I had to swim after him and it was pulling him down. He was drowning. You know, holding him back from the fucking fish and holes. Jesus. So I went and saved him and I grabbed him by the shoes and pulled him up. Well, I was wondering what took you guys oh, so long. Oh, dude, Matthew, he's a fucking wreck. He's just sweating. The fish got me and grabbed on and started thrashing my leg. His legs are just, they're just beat after, you know, Man. fighting the fucking, the mighties of Palos Trellis. Eventually the local just shot it with his gun. And that's the fish that's in the trunk right now. That's the big blue one, yeah. I can feel it Yeah, you can. It's heavy, man. It's much like 60, 70 pounds. Like, it's a big fish. Well, I got to say, Duncan, I'm really relieved because I was thought for sure we were going to take the L on that challenge. But it looks like you guys really pulled through. You know, sometimes you just got to leave it to the professionals. Wow. Finally, we had what we needed. The perfect fish. We left Port Alice, and soon we found ourselves back in the dirt. trying to save yourself. You got a puddle of it in your lap. Oh, I lost the fucking cat. <laughs> Dude, getting a root beer was such a bad idea. Right, you know what? I didn't really consider driving down a, uh, a washboard dirt road. Quite have an effect on that, but I probably should have, eh? Yeah, I should have seen that one coming. Yeah, there we go. That was pretty good. Let's not do it when there's a cliff on the side. As much as I trust your driving, I do bring a good point, don't I? You do. It would really suck for them to like, see us, like... Like that. We don't have helmets or roll cages or anything. No. Man, this road, that fish is eating it up. Yeah, honestly? Like, we're hardly even bottoming out on anything. You're right, actually. Compared to last night, this is a f***ing breeze. We're just flying down this. We are f***ing cruising down this road. Yeah, this is nice. Catch fourth gear, this is fun. Whoa! Oh, oh shit! Pull up next to him. My poor baby. Yeah. I, slid, I, got I am pooing my pants. <laughs> you had me shitting my fucking pants. I thought that was a dead truck. I fucking pulled her out of that ditch. <laughs> That's a deep oh. ditch to be oh. half inside of. Woo! And what was that like to be in the back, honestly? <laughs> we love you, Ricky. Terrifying. That was scary for me. Yeah, yeah. Logan, you looked really calm, though, considering what just happened. I was in survival mode. I'm like, okay, we're going, okay, we're going this way. Okay, we're going this way. Okay, we're going this way. Holy f***. Man. That was crazy. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. After taking a minute to collect ourselves and reflect on lessons learned, Josh spotted the perfect opportunity to try something he'd never done before. The finish line was finally in sight, and daylight was running out fast, so we did the logical thing and got back on the road. We arrived at the San Joseph Bay parking lot just in time, with not a single moment to spare.
Oh, that's fucking burning rubber. Kind of oh, burnt rubber. <laughs> kind of stinking. What the fuck did you think that was? <laughs> a sliding noise and a bunch of smoke coming? Oh, yeah, part two. I would like to share something with the camera. Oh, looks like the catfish room. Catfish room. We're gonna try one more time. Oh, never mind. Catfish. It's not gonna go, man. That's pretty good. That's what it looks like catfish room. Right? Yo, dude, those are the things that. Dude, we should post somebody underneath the tire, JK. Bad idea. We'll put somebody's head there. Yeah, that's a great idea. <laughs> Y'all, I guess we gotta go down to the beach in a hot minute. We gotta go cook a fish. Good thing you guys caught one of those, uh, what are they called? A Zabalas Yeah, Matt, what'd you guys catch? Zabalas Chalice. Silver blue fish. Yeah. Now we were really behind. So we grabbed the essentials and made haste for the shoreline. We built a fire right here. This is the spot. The only real problem is we don't have any any real firewood, which is a bit of a concern. I thought there would be more driftwood here, but I don't know if it's all buried by the winter storms or by what, but slim pickings. We can use the ax to split this and it might, it might even be dry inside, maybe. Like this is terribly wet. I tried to check in the woods more and I didn't see much. It's pretty, that's pretty damp though. That's pretty damp. The firewood situation was not looking promising, but we managed to devise a clever backup plan. We found a box of wine-related books in the film vehicle. Leftover props. So now that uh, that thing we did is officially done with um, wine and wine tours, we'll never be needing these again, and we need to start a fire. 2006 was a really bad year for South African wines. You missed. Nice. That needs to make the cut. 2006 was a really bad year for South African wines. Whoops. Hey, we got to feel the light the paper still. Well, there we go. A little fire starters. That's all right. Yeah, we'll just light that and we'll have a fire in second. Where's the other books? They're just in the backpack there. All right, another. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hey, Josh. Yeah, I think we need a bigger fire pit. We're going to build it over here instead. Oh, oh you. <laughs> here. Oh, I quit. You guys can make the fire. <laughs> Poor bastards. This is probably enough paper on there. Start throwing those fucking sticks in there. Get all these lost surface area. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's good. Uh, Are you ready for the fire song? Uh, you know, the acknowledgments more than 5,000 people out writing this book. Wow. 5,000 people wrote this book and now it's going to the fire. Boys let the fire at San Joseph Bay. As they made their way across the Cooper Island's northern waste, in cars ill fit for the task, they finally arrived at their destination. So we drive for like an hour. I'm pretty disappointed. That's what you guys caught? Caught that? Yeah, yeah. yeah. They packaged it ourselves. Yes, yeah, so it's miserable out here. Oh, oh, what? Smell out of it. Yeah! Oh, <laughs> fish sauce on my face! Somebody show me. Oh, Joe, you drew your face with them, bro. Yeah, but that's the fish. Oh! 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 Now, for our viewers at home, I want you to know, we are gonna clean up and keep San Joseph Bay free from pollution. There certainly won't be any on our account. It won't smell like your <laughs> anymore. <laughs> <laughs> it smelled like that when we got 